Hey guys, this is Nate here. Uh, I'm here with my brother-in-law Gavin. We just got our two young blue dogs. Here tonight, we're going to call them up and see if they can't get done by themselves. See what you can do, old boys. We're going to get them collared up and stuff. And see if we can get them standing around through here and I'll get back with you. Well, we uh, it ain't been but about literally probably five minutes. They came out here out on this big ridge, which is right where we wanted them to go. And uh, let me see if I can zoom here. Right there, where their lines cuts down, they struck right there. And come down the hill here, and I believe they're treed. They sound like it. I can hear them, but you probably can't hear them on the camera. Yeah, there it is. But right, right there at that white lines where uh, a couple weeks ago where we walked over and shot that nail on that uh, cliff and it went in the lake on us and my brother jumped in there and got it. So we're in the same spot that they came right out here and dropped over on the other side in the tree. So we're going, we're going to give them a few minutes and make sure they're settled down there. And I'll get back with you whenever we head into them. They got gone fast though. Point sixty one. Well, we drove around to or how far are they now? Five twelve. Five twelve. We went from point sixty to five twelve, so we cut quite a bit of the walk off, but. I believe you can hear them. They're hammering down in there, so we're fixing to go see what these puppies have got if they can get her done without old Amos. I believe they can. They've gotten it before, but we'll get back, Williams. Yeah, he's on. Alright, go ahead. Hoo, hoo. 
I'll come out, John. Yeah. I can't see you because you lie. Oh, yeah. Plus one for the blow pot. The squalor I used here is Tim Tipton's Little T Cone Squallers. This is the Pro Series, his newest one. And uh, they'll put a link in the description of the video where you can go and get one if you want. It's a three reed design. You can see it's got three reeds down in there. Loud. Makes them look. That never did shine its eyes at us, but it turned its head around there and looked at us. But we're going to get these pups off and back to the truck and go see if we can find another. Alright guys, just got back to the truck that are knocking this one out. <coughs> These pups did a, a fantastic job on it. Uh, they got gone and went hunting real good and got gone fast. Got in there about .60, I think they treated .62. They struck and didn't run a real long race, just kind of run over the side of the ridge there and treat. Went there and they had this boar here. And uh, I was going to tell you about these squallers here. Little T Coon Squallers, the Pro Series. Tim Tipton makes them. And I brought this one in there and squalled at the coon. And I, where I was standing with the camera, I never did see it look. I seen it turn its head around, but I didn't see its eyes. But where Gavin was standing, he said he seen it shine both of its eyes when I squalled. But they're loud and they work. And uh, they're gonna put a link in the description of the video if you wanna get one, but they, they definitely work. It's the first time I've ever even used a coon squaller. I've always just squalled with my mouth, but, but I like them. I really appreciate uh, Tim Tipton uh, sponsoring us. So, uh, just gonna tell you about that, but we're gonna get these pups on around here and see if we can get them out or another and stick with us. Well, guys, we just got back to the house here and unloaded Gavin's dog. Uh, I only trade that one coon turn them out a few more times they hunted pretty good but never did get out or nothing else so i guess we'll catch us on the next and be sure and like and subscribe and we appreciate everybody that watches and comments and stuff so. see you <clears throat> hey guys this is nate here with tackett creek outdoors uh noticed a lot of you was asking about uh, my dad's dog Amos, the English dog, about how he's bred and stuff. And I went up to my dad's and got his papers and I took some pictures of them. And uh, I'll see if I can get Matt to put the pictures on the video or a link where you can see the pictures or something. But I was going to tell you a little bit about our hounds. Uh, Amos is an English coon hound. He's a four-year-old. His birth date's uh, July 25th, 2018. So he'll be five this summer. Uh, his sire is Grand Knight Champion, Wild Time Puss in Boots. And his dam is Beaches Eagle Creek Bonnie. And then Puss in Boots goes back to Wild Time Timber Tiger HTX. That's his sire. And his dam is Wolf Creek, Rolling Rock Sand. <clears throat> and then Eagle Creek Bonnie's sire is uh, Night Champion Beaches Eagle Creek Hank, 
or Eagle Creek Hawk, excuse me. And her dam is Beaches Eagle Creek Honeybee. And then they go back to uh, ours, West Virginia Dandy, Valley View Missy, Wolf Creek Rolling Rock, Gosh's Slamming Ann, Eagle Creek Thunder, Eagle Creek Suzy Q, Flat Creek Kentucky Pride, and uh, Hard Luck Kentucky Spotted Trixie. But we uh, have mostly hunted Walker and English, or Walker and Blue Tick hounds, and uh, don't really know a whole lot about the English bloodlines. Uh, Dad just got this dog here a couple weeks ago. But for the past while, we've just hunted blue ticks mostly, and uh, my dad, he used to hunt walkers all the time, but that's what he's out of, and like I said, I'll try to get him to uh, put the picture somewhere so you can see his papers, so you can know a little bit about him. Uh, we're just pleasure hunters. We don't do no competition hunting. Uh, I've never done it at all. I don't know. I think my dad might have hunted some competition hunts when he was younger, but we just hunt for pleasure all the time just for mainly for the dogs we don't i mean we try to get good videos of us killing the coon and stuff but it's really more than killing coons to us it's more about the dogs uh, especially those young dogs seeing them grow and learn and something you can take pride in have a lot of fun in and uh it's been a tradition in my family for a long long time uh both of my great papaws cone hunted back in the day and they passed it down to my papaws and then they passed it down to my dad and he's passed it down to me so my dad's been cone hunting ever since I was a little bitty baby ever since I've been going with him ever since I was so little he had to pack me through the woods so it's just been a tradition in our family for a long time and we enjoy it and like to share it with you so But I was going to tell you about uh, my pup, uh, Trouble, and I ain't got his papers. I'm in the process of having them sent off for a permanent registration. Uh, but he was out of a dog that my dad had a while back named Tucker, and he got him. He was just a little over two year old. He had him back in the fall. <coughs> And uh, he was doing really good and coming on with it and was making a fine hound. And Dad was training a lot of coons with him. And uh, he ended up getting him run over on the interstate one night and got him killed. And uh, he almost quit coon hunting after that. He was sick, you know, that was his. He said it was the best dog he'd had in a long time. And, and like I said, he's hunted ever since. Well, ever since he was a little boy, so. But the dog, I got the pup out of that dog, but I got that dog's papers, old Tucker's papers here. And I was just going to read some of them off to you. Tucker was out of uh, Blue Creek Gage and Boomer's Jet Blue Bess. And he goes back to uh, Gage was out of Jet 8. And goes back, he was out of Jet 7, back to Jet 6, and a lot of people around here that hunts blue ticks, uh, the Jet bloodline's a popular bloodline around here, a lot of people knows about it, but uh, maybe I'll have, if they can, post a picture of these papers on there. He's got all kinds of Jet blood in him, but uh, the pup seems to be coming along pretty good. I've had him for several months now, and I think I got him when he was eight months old, and he would already go with dogs and was treeing some. And he's treated a few coons right by himself and uh, done a real good job. But if you ever hunted much, you know how it is with pups. So uh, do the best one night, and then 
go out the next night and it's like they're going backwards sometimes but he's starting to come around here lately he's been hunting better and uh he trades pretty good sometimes on the coons that he trade by himself he trade really good and then sometimes he just sits back and don't bark that much but i'm just uh trying to have patience with him because i know what his daddy was and he acts a lot like him reminds me a lot of him so i believe it's in there if it'll just come out i'm just gonna try to be patient with him but but uh the dog he's out of that i was telling you about tucker that my dad had he uh he's got some videos he had some videos of on his phone of that dog at the tree and uh I'm gonna send them to Matt and see if I can get him to put them on this video. Do you see a little bit about him? I wish he wouldn't have got killed and we still had him, but if we did, we probably never would have had old Amos. But so that's just how it goes, I guess. It's a, you ain't no guarantee anytime you cut them loose uh, that you're gonna get them back. I mean, we take it for granted a lot that they're just gonna come in there and we'll get them right back, but. Really, you never know what's gonna happen in the woods. They could get run over. Uh, I've heard of people, uh, them going in under cliffs, like in rocks and falling in caves and not getting them back and everything. So, like I said, we take it for granted a lot, but it's really no guarantee you're gonna get them back. But I was just gonna tell you a little bit about the, the dogs that we hunt and the bloodlines, but, uh, I didn't go hunting tonight. I gotta work tomorrow and I was pretty wore out. So I just decided to take it easy. I think Matt and Caden was hunting tonight. So maybe they'll get you into a video up. So I'd like to say uh, I'm thankful for everybody that sponsored us and uh, everybody that supported us along the way. Uh, everybody that likes and subscribes and everybody that watches, uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, all your comments, everything. Uh, we just enjoy hunting and like to show it with everybody and share it. It's a, like I said before, it's a good family tradition that's that's been in our family for a long time. And it, uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of camaraderie between the people, a lot of, just a good hobby, a good way to spend time with people and uh, you make a lot of friends in the woods to come hunting. So but I just want to thank everybody for supporting us and everything. Aidens have helped us and. I guess till the next and let's take it easy and keep it real.